I'm going to tell you guys how I was dying in a gas station bathroom in the fall of 1987. That's really nice. Turn it off, man. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm not getting high. I wasn't getting high in here. No. Uh-uh. Look, I cleaned, I cleaned the toilet. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Look at it. Oh, come on. Come on, give me a chance. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard rain. Yeah, no. Drop, drop, I drop. I drop the piece. I drop the piece. I dropped the piece. I dropped the piece. I dropped the piece. I dropped the piece. Oh, what did you see, my blood? I dropped the piece. I dropped the piece. Oh, shit. I had a beautiful family. This little shit right here was me. That was my sister, Valerie, the epitome of a flower child. That was my mom, Cynthia, women's lib, and also make going to the dentist fun. And there was my main man. My pops, Bruce, and uh, I'm gonna talk a lot about my dad because most of the lessons in my life I learned from my father. My parents would be fighting every night, screaming. My dad had a voice like me. Fucking bullshit! Valerie, you know. And my mom, they, there was never any violence, but it was like throwing shit. You'd hear like you know shit break and stuff like that. So my dad had a business trip, and. Uh, he took me with him because there was so much conflict in the house. And um, we went on the trip, and when we came back, we walked in the door, opened the door, and the house was bare and empty, and my mom was gone. Hey, 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 hey Daddy, you, you think I could drive? <laughs> yeah, come on, Evan, go ahead, take the wheel. Thanks. Thanks, Daddy. So, Dad, what's, uh, what's California like? <laughs> California, man? California is, is beautiful, man. It's nice and warm, not cold like New York. You're gonna love it. Oh. Thanks, Daddy. Dad, where exactly are, are we going, Daddy? <laughs> Hollywood. And then one day, one of those boys from the neighborhood came over to the house. And there may be some dramatic foreshadowing here. The guy's name was Damien. And Damien came over, and Damien was one of these type of guys, man, that... You know, all he do was, was flex all the time, man. He'd always look at his muscles and, you know, everybody was a bitch. What, what you up to, bitch? <laughs> Relax, D. Relax, man. Shit. Here. I don't do that shit. I told you that. I said, oh, man, what are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? What I'm doing, man? You see this, bitch? They call this rock cocaine, bitch. Take this, and you put it on your bomb, and then you tell me what's up. <laughs> oh, man, I read, I read about that. I'm not, I'm not messing with that stuff. I saw that on Newsweek or something like that, man. I don't, I don't, I don't do that, man. I don't do, I don't do that, bro. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not with all that. You scared, bitch? You scared? Punk? Scared? You scared? You, I ain't scared of nothing, man. Give me, give me that. I told you I ain't scared. I ain't scared of nothing. Take it. Put it on the bomb.
everything was okay, man. My mom taking off. Losing the college scholarships. How I disappointed my dad. How I felt about myself, really. It was all okay. That hit changed everything. And for the next three or four years, all I did was try to recapture that feeling. 